was remembering how in Hearthstone there were cards which incentivized building your deck with certain restrictions like Reno Jackson, and how fun and cool that was. One of the archetypes required you to only use odd cost cards in your deck, so I tried doing that, but in Marvel Snap. This is the deck I ended up with. It's a Sarah Surfer list with some cards I like adding for fun, like NTW and Kingpin. And I definitely didn't just add M'Baku because he sounds like Baku, which is the card that rewards you for using odd cost cards in Hearthstone. I added him because he's genuinely a strong card, and he's better than anything else I could have added, okay? And I stand by that. But don't at me. No, but seriously, I mean, like, sure, he can win you some tight games if you're lucky. That's not even him at his best, you know? His best is actually much more consistent than that. After you've already won the game with your superior skills and intellect, he jumps out just for fun, just for the BM. It's like that one Asian dude who used to play Ganondorf in Melee, Bizarro Flame. Who the heck is ready to get disrespected down to the ground? This guy knew. This guy knew that video games is all about styling on your opponent when you were already winning. Because it's fucking hype. Like, check out these clips. Alright, let's see what's happening here. It's turn 6. Opponent's playing Darkhawk. It looks like I used Arrow to already win middle. What are we doing? Oh, Juggernaut pushes my opponent's cards in a bar with no name. And it looks like we are simply just gonna win the game left and middle, and then tie on the right. Oh, actually, M'Baku jumps into bar with no name, and debuffs the Darkhawk so we end up winning all three locations. What do we call that, Bizarro? Easy money! And let's look at this game. It's turn six. My opponent is playing Patriot Bossed. Very strong deck. We got Juggernaut. I'll use the Kingpin. Ooh, brutal. And then Killmonger and Surfer do their thing, and we win all three locations. But we win mid by one. Only one? That's unacceptable. Baku, show him who's boss. That's right. Bizarro, do the thing. Anyway, I think I've shown you that it's clear M'Baku is worthy of his spot in this deck, so I'll stop talking about him and show you the game highlight. It's turn 3, I can finally play. With Asgard, I think I'm going to spam Maximuses with the help of the cloning vats. It looks like he might be a Shang-Chi list, so he probably won't play Surfer this game. Just going to keep playing Maximus. Our Killmonger is strong here, so it should be a dub for the good guys. My opponent snapped. Nice play, but Killmonger takes care of those. GG. Genuinely a strong card, and he's better than anything else I could have added. No, you fucking idiot. Fuck. It's a fine grind, clearing out my cash line, speeding up my RAM time, coordinated light lines. If you need to move, I recommend computers, they can make you groove like I bet you never knew. Did you?